Hey guys, it's Drew here. I want to make a quick video on how you can move extra blocks with Helena's special equipment and how you can outrange opponents with this. So at minimum, you can move straight down towards your opponent with chivalry. So this moves you five blocks down and additional four blocks thanks to the this ring here that you actually ignore the movement. So on minimum, you have 5 plus 4, which is like the same range as Ares if you're engaging someone on the same line as you. So you can do that. Use the skill. Leave the aerial guards with just a small amount of health left. And hit them with some AoEs here. So that's minimum. 5 plus 4, attack with 1. If you want to get fancy though, you can actually threaten your opponent from very far away. You stand way back here, don't really need the breeze here. Since you get to ignore these two blocks, then you can move down 5. Down 5, ignore the breeze, cast chivalry. And again, use the two free blocks of movement here. Move down three again. So this triggers Helena's talent very effectively. For every one block move, damage is increased by 4% up to 20%. So you want to move five blocks before engaging the opponent. And this is how you do it. You move through these two blocks. Use the ring effectively. Engage the opponent at a diagonal. Move down here at a diagonal. And down here again at a diagonal. This allows you to engage the opponent from very far away. So without triggering breeds, we already moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Without breeds, you can engage someone 13 blocks away, which is outranging most enemy units, really, or like most units in the game. Taking out the aerial guards here completely. So you're gonna do more damage. And you're also engaging your opponents from very safe distances. Like if your opponent triggers a, a plus three Tenyo Breeze, you can probably still be okay with that. And if you play Helena with the Breeze, you can engage someone from 15 blocks away if you're set up perfectly. So Helena has really long range, and she is really safe. There's also one other thing you can do with Helena, which is using her passive to break your opponent's last rights effects or full health bonuses. You just end the turn beside your opponent. So to start, you have to place yourself really close to your opponent. So this is not exactly safe, but thanks to Helena's special giving her 15% reduced damage taken when on these uh, crystal terrains and having like very tanky angels, she should be okay in most cases. You can of course give her like a faction buff if you want to increase her defenses further. What you can do is ignoring the uh, breeze here. One block free movement, move down five. Cast chivalry. And just hit your opponents. Now this just breaks last right, and then you can move through, attack the opponent. You're going to only be able to move through three blocks before attacking. Which is not exactly ideal for her talent, but it's worth it if you can break full health bonuses. And as you can see, you do more damage than moving 5 blocks. Now, some of you might be thinking that, oh, maybe you can move 4 blocks before engaging. If you just, you know, move here. Cast the chivalry right beside, and then you can move around your opponents, right? 
Well, you can't do that either because of Helena's talent, where it says you move through enemy units. So you can move through enemy tanks and stuff, enemy blockades, and engage opponents from behind. So that means if you cast chivalry here, chivalry right beside an opponent and you want to attack them, you can't move the whole four blocks around, you have to pull right through them. So not exactly ideal. Instead, just do the three. It's good enough. Can't really get any better than that. Alright, so this is how you can engage from very far away using a different a number of different strategies. Like class rights, or if you just want to be really safe, engage from 13 blocks away. Alright, that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.